fellow university students and faculty members. It's likely that you have contemplated or are using paperless solutions to read and annotate the many books and articles that you need to read. There are a lot of videos out there already that show you how you can annotate using an iPad and an Apple Pencil. What's special about this video is that it will show you how you can pull highlighted text from books and articles into Notion, an all-in-one organizer and note-taking system, all at the click of a button. I know, I was excited too. The end result? Quicker, easier, efficient note-taking. If we haven't met yet, hi, I'm Jackie. I'm currently a PhD candidate studying higher education at the University of Toronto. This channel is all about productivity, academic tips, personal development, research, PhD life, and more. If those topics interest you, I think you'll feel right at home here. So I encourage you to join our community by clicking the subscribe and notification bells buttons below. Doing so will ensure that you are notified when new videos are uploaded to this channel. It also helps to extend the reach of the channel so that others will consider joining our community. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. And with that, let's get things underway. When reading for academic purposes, knowing that I will be annotating the text, I tend to use one of two devices either my Kindle, which I use for longer form books, or my iPad and Apple Pencil, which I tend to use for journal articles, but books also. I like that both the Kindle and iPad experiences make reading feel more like a book as opposed to reading on a computer screen. While having additional digital devices is not necessary, it is an additional expense as well. For a student or faculty member who reads a lot, it can make work easier, more enjoyable, and less strain on the body, for example, reduced eye strain. Also, as a PhD, PhD candidate, I do not have a ton of time to spend on note taking. The process needs to be as efficient as possible. Anything I can do to quicken the process without undermining my learning is a good thing. Something I've always wanted is the ability to pull highlights from texts into a separate document so that I have something to start with when I'm composing my notes on a given article or book. My current note-taking system involves Notion for my overall organization of notes and Notability for taking handwritten notes. And if you'd like to learn more about how I integrate Notion and Notability for my note-taking purposes, check out this video right here after watching this one. In the meantime, I found a way to sync highlights from digital books and PDF copies of journal articles into Notion. And without further ado, let me show you how. Here's what you will need. You will need a Kindle e-reader or a Kindle app on a computer or tablet. You will also need an annotation app that allows you to actually highlight the text as opposed to just placing color over it. Examples of annotation apps that work include PDF Expert, which I'm currently using, I Annotate, Adobe Acrobat. Examples of apps that don't work, unfortunately, as of the time of filming this video, include GoodNotes and Notability, and that's because you're essentially only placing color over the words you highlight. Essentially, you need an app that actually registers the highlights so that you can then pull them out. Ideally, you're able to annotate on an iPad or other tablet. I just find the experience to be a lot more enjoyable, but it's totally not necessary. You'll also need a Notion account and you'll need a Readwise account. And you may be wondering, what is Readwise? Readwise is an app catering to people who read a lot and specifically highlight a lot when they read with the hopes of engaging with those highlights later on. Get this, Readwise is capable of pulling the highlights out of your Kindle books and PDFs into a database in Notion. This is super valuable because it makes the process of taking notes on your readings that much quicker. Key points and important quotations that you identified are already summarized and made available to you, page numbers and all, in Notion. So allow me to show you how this works. For Kindle, you just have to sync your Kindle account to the Readwise app. All of your book highlights will be synced to Notion and this is what it looks like. A special note that you can remove any books that you don't want included, so perhaps you only want your academic reads included in this. For PDFs, step one is to read and annotate your article. At the moment, I'm using PDF Expert. I like that it's free, that it has a clean look, 
that you can change the colors of the highlighters. I prefer sort of like a more pastel muted look. You can also pull and see annotations in the sidebar. Once you are done annotating, save a copy of the article and upload it to Readwise via your computer. The PDF upload option is currently in beta mode, so you have to upload it via computer on the Readwise website. It's not currently an option that you'll see on the Readwise app, which you'll have on your tablet. Readwise will then pull the highlights from your journal article and put them into your database of book and article highlights in Notion. I was so excited when I figured out how to do this. You can then easily integrate these highlights in into your notes on a book chapter or article. Fun fact, Readwise can also save your highlights from blogs and newspaper articles through integrations with Medium, Instapaper, and Pocket. You can even integrate highlights from podcasts using the Air app. You can even use Readwise to save favorite tweets sorted by Twitter user in your Notion organizer. When you come across a tweet that you really like, all you have to do is DM it to Readwise and it will show up in your Notion organizer. That being said, say it's a resource attached to a tweet that you really want to save, you also have the option of opening up the resource and then saving it using Notion's Chrome extension. If you click that button, it will put it in your Notion organizer for you. Another really cool thing about Readwise is that every single day you can review random highlights from things you've read using active recall method in the Readwise app. I think this is such a great idea. It helps to keep things you've learned more fresh in your mind. And when you're reminded of what you've read, what you've learned, it might take on new meaning when you think about it at a later point in time. There is a cost for Readwise in order to be able to use the Notion integration but know that there are scholarly discounts available I was able to get 50% off of the subscription if you read a lot like me if you're going to be reading a lot while finishing your dissertation this year like me then the time saving can justify the cost also the assistance with retaining what you learn through active recall and automating that anyways have you used readwise if so, let everyone know what you think about it in the comment section below. If not, what additional questions do you have about Readwise? Feel free to pose those in the comment section as well. And feel free to leave a note about what topics you'd like to see covered in future videos. If you found the content of this video helpful, please consider giving it a like so that others will know that it's a good video that they might want to check out. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed and engaged thus far. I'm really enjoying interacting with you. Though there are quite a few folks who are watching but haven't subscribed yet and I encourage you to do so so that you'll be amongst the first to know when new videos are posted. Let's stay in touch in between videos. You can find me on Twitter at Jackie Bolia and you can find me on Instagram at PhD Essentials. Until next time, wishing you a beautiful and productive week. Bye friends!